Hello everybody! Welcome back! Now, it is time for the death battle of Deadpool versus Pinkie Pie. So, so this might lag a bit, well, maybe a bit, or a lot, or during the death battle too, but, so, here we are, the video came out, it's finally here, so, let's enjoy and watch this battle come to an end. Well, not right now. Before we get into the episode, I wanted to let you know that all our games are on sale for the holidays. That's AVGN 1 and 2, Disorder, even the all-new Super Rad oh, yeah, Ray Gun. There's Steam. discounts on it's all on available sale. platforms, some up to 80% off. Yeah, so click the link Steam. in the description, pick up some right games, now. and save some cash while supporting us. That. Fiction has a very fragile <laughs> set of rules. Authors should be wary, as too. one small crack can be enough to smash the boundary <laughs> and send their stories careening oh, out of control. I remember that. <laughs> We're really doing this. We're really doing this. We're really well, doing this. Well, here's Deadpool, Marvel's Merc with the Mouth. And Pinkie Pie, Equestria's peppy party pony. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Oh, that animation, okay. Loneliness, depression, cancer. When you think cancer. of the Merc with a mouth, these are unlikely to be the first things you associate with the assassin called Deadpool. Yet, before the red and black suit, these were the ingredients in the life of Wade Wilson. Blah, 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 we've been over this before. How about we just skip to the best parts? Hold up, hold up, hold up! Oh, you great. just can't skip my amazing origin story like that. I have a movie now, so we have all this crispy new footage to use. For educational purposes, of course. Where's his back? Where's my <laughs> shotgun? Just ignore him. In short, Wilson was a mercenary who developed cancer. I had 34 tumors. They were literally everywhere. Oh, the guys who messed with Wolverine picked him up, injected him with weird healing fluids, and turned him into a rotten testicle. <laughs> hey, that would have been a much better superhero name for you. Whatever you say, Captain Bucktooth. You know as well as I do that I'm kind of a big deal, and I've always lived that lit, fresh mercenary life. <laughs> and I even partner up with famous little Wolvie on occasion, like when I worked with <laughs> the X-Force. Yeah, where's your mute button? I probably left it in the Savage Land after my dinosaur rodeo. The, the what? Oh yeah, check it out. I took a selfie. Hashtag no filter. Oh my god. <laughs> Would you look at that? <laughs> Speaking of Wolverine, oh, Deadpool gained hilarious. a healing factor from those experiments, which easily trumps anything the X-Man can do. He's strong enough to redirect a rogue helicopter, fights faster than a normal man can react, and is an expert marksman with virtually any weapon he touches. To all my adoring fans out there, yeah. you know what I'm all about. Swords. I got them. They're made of this nanoceramic fiber sharp enough to cut through Spidey's webs and right through his franchise. <laughs> Grenades, shurikens, bolas and size, all that good Naruto stuff. I got them on deck, baby. Personal fave, though? Bullets. I spread them like Santa spreads Christmas joy. Are those Heckler and Koshmark 23 pistols? Yeah, but they can be whatever you want them to be, baby. Mm. Oh, right, you got the magic bag with the elephant. Wait, what are you talking about? What elephant? After gaining his enhanced abilities, <laughs> Deadpool's life only got stranger. He's gone on time traveling adventures with the mutant cable, joined the Agent X mercenary force, temporarily gained the power cosmic, and even got involved in a love triangle involving death. Oh, that whole debacle? Okay, so get this. You know the Grim Reaper? Spectre of death and all that? Well, turns out she's this sexy hot skeleton babe, and she totally digs the Deadpool. But our Facebook status is still on, it's complicated, because oh. I'd have to die to be with her. And then Thanos shows up to try and take her for himself. He cursed me with immortality so I could never see my boo again! But he later took the curse back because he really wanted to kill me. But he can't because then I'd win, and he knows it. Yeah, and I thought I had issues. I suck to be a galactic lord. 
pretty good for a Vancouver oh Canadian, God. right? <laughs> Shut up! Who may be effective as a wise cracking merc, but when he gets serious, he becomes nigh unstoppable. As far as super enhanced cancer written assassins go, he's gone that movie was toe really against Captain America, infiltrated <laughs> Doctor Doom's country of Latveria, and defeated a horde of 100 ninjas while talking on the phone. Even if you could dub that fighting skill, Deadpool's healing factor puts him on a whole nother level. It's let him dive headfirst out of a moving plane, survive the friggin' Chrysler building falling on top of him, strode right out of nuclear explosions, and even regenerated from being turned into a puddle. Though that same healing factor is also part of Deadpool's biggest weakness. Hey, you dissing me, bub? No, Boomstick actually has a pretty good point. Years of immortality has let you get away with being sloppy in your approach, which allows a clever enough opponent to gain an upper hand. Like this. Hey, what? What? Ah, oh, hey, 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 what's that? What are you doing? No! You monsters! I won't go the way of Amazing Spider-Man! Oh, quit whining. You'll be back. No! <laughs> when could you do that? It's been two years since our last Deadpool episode. I've had plenty of prep time. <laughs> now, Pinkie Pie. Aw, ads. Okay. Get out of here. What's a good substitute for butter? Go Wait, away. Butter. Substitute three quarters cup Go of butter. Go away. Where's my mouse? Oh. Ooh. Go okay, away. Google. What's a good substitute for. Go away. Sorry about that. <laughs> the land of Equestria, a magical kingdom full of rolling plains, beautiful mountain ranges, and rainbows. A place where you just can't help but be happy, unless you happen to live on a rock farm. The hell's a rock farm? Like a quarry? No, 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 they literally farm rocks. For these ponies, rocks were their life. They harvested rocks, they sculpted rocks, they played with rocks, they built their homes from rocks, yep. they even ate rocks. Well, one yeah. pony on this farm wasn't quite as rock crazy as the rest of her family. Oh no, she's a whole nother level of crazy. This is Pinkamina Diane Pie. Just call her Pinkie Pie. One day, chipping away in the grueling rock fields as always, Pinkie witnessed something that would change her life forever. Colors! The very sight of this unprecedented explosion of color, which originated <laughs> yeah, from Rainbow Legendary <laughs> Sonic Rainboom, instantly brought Pinky the most joy she had ever felt in her life. Brimming smile, with happiness, though. she wanted to share her newfound jubilation with her grim-faced family. So she stayed up all night organizing a surprise party. It was so out of the chain that it made them all smile for the first time. Which was actually quite horrifying. That's when Pinky finally realized that her life's mission was meant to bring joy to all. Wait, what's that thing on her butt? Oh, that's a cutie. Oh, cutie Everybody part. gets one when they discover their calling in life. Oh, I got one of those. After I found out alcohol and guns were my calling, I woke up and found a beer bottle crossed with two shotguns on my left butt cheek. Boomstick, that's a tattoo. You don't remember it because you <sighs> passed out drunk in the parlor chair. But booze and weapons <laughs> do define my life, don't they? Well, sure, but... And it's fate. Anyway, now that she had something better to do than farm rocks for a living, Pinky left home and ended up in Ponyville. She landed a job in bed at the Sugar Cube Corner Bakery and set off to befriend every single pony in town, usually with a welcoming song and dance. What the? How does it know, Wiz? Uh, I guess now's as good a time as any to mention that Pinkie Pie also sees past the fourth wall. Sorry, did I interrupt you guys? No, we were just trying to do a show, but yeah, by all means, tell them about yourself while I go grab a beer. Well, I can sing, I can dance, I throw the bestest parties, I can- No, no, no! The awesome stuff! Give them something to Oh! What? I Find his magic! I want to play again so bad, but they have a freaking castle shit. Pie's party cannon is child play compared <laughs> to her own her, her body seems to have highly elastic properties, allowing her to stretch impossible distances, inflate like a balloon, or more practically, shake off hits powerful enough to send her through walls. Bathtubs are 
dangerous. On top of all that, her mane can morph into a drill and tunnel through the earth. She's fast enough to keep up with Rainbow Dash, and she can control the very laws of physics. 